Hello everyone, my name is Adrian Fuxa and today I'm going to present you the work called Compressive Sensing for Monostatic and Opportunistic Bistatic Synthetic Aperture Radar Data. Today's presentation will cover two aspects. The first regarding the back projection compressive sensing mixed approach for synthetic aperture radar focusing. The second one is regarding sparse multi-aperture bistatic SAR focusing. Finally, I will give some conclusions. For the first part, we want to generate the synthetic aperture radar image by combining both advantages of compressive sensing and back projection technique. We exploit the scene special sparsity, constructing a two-dimensional approach based on a sparsifying dictionary, which is constructed using the steps of the back projection uh, algorithm. Range compression, read interpolation and azimuth integration. The matrices associated with these linear operations are presented in this equation and by multiplying these three matrices we obtain the system transformation matrix. Finally, the synthetic aperture radar image is simply obtained by multiplying the flattened version of the raw data with the system transformation matrix. The results obtained with this approach show that for simulated data the raw outcome of the compressive sensing based technique is quite similar to a deconvolution techniques whereas for the monostatic and bistatic real world data our method shows a great potential in the sense that it highlights the most powerful targets and also preserves the phase component of the synthetic aperture radar image. The second part of the presentation will be about an opportunistic bistatic acquisition scenario which uh, contains COBIS ground-based receiver and Sentinel-1 as a transmitter of opportunity. Sentinel-1 is operating on TOPSAR mode, thus a multi-aperture sparse raw data is available. For this approach, we want to exploit not only the single aperture interval, but this sparse multi-aperture interval in order to enhance the bistatic SAR image resolution and also to reduce the effect of the grating globs, which correspond to a naive integration of the multi-aperture interval. In this slide, we are presenting the proposed processing flow for such a multi-aperture uh, acquisition and in the bottom part of the processing flow, the compressive sensing framework uh, matrices involved are uh, depicted. So the phi matrix represents the sampling matrix and in our case is a partial identity matrix. The sparsifying dictionary used in our case is uh, constructed using linear frequency modulated signal Whereas for the reconstruction of the azimuth profiles, uh, the proposed method is, uh, has employed an efficient solver, a greedy approach called orthogonal match and pursuit. In the right part of the slide, we are presenting our results. In the first line of images, the first one is representing the sparse azimuth profiles, which are efficiently uh, reconstructed using the compressive sensing theory and then using the back projection the final bistatic uh, SAR image is obtained. For comparison both single aperture uh, synthetic aperture radar image and uh, na the naive integration of the multi aperture interval are also shown together with an azimuth section from which we may notice that not only the resolution has been uh, has become finer, but also the side lobes were suppressed. The back projection compressive sensing framework for focusing under sample SAR data results show the improvement of SAR image quality by highlighting the most powerful targets and also preserves the phase component for future interferometric processing. For the second part, the multi-aperture processing flow, which is also based on compressive sensing, reconstructs the azimuth profiles and leads to both resolution enhancement and grating globe suppression. Thank you for your attention.